Okay, hello everyone. This is just um, a video on how to get into your ArcGIS story maps and how to set up your map. Um, so what I've given here, it's, and you can find this in Blackboard, I have given the uh, direct link there. And what I did was I just searched for story maps and then the link comes up. So let me click on that link. Um, this will bring you to the storymaps.arcgis.com. And then what you need to do is sign in. So everyone should have gotten an invite to um, sign up for ArcGIS. I think that was sent yesterday, August 17th. Um, if you didn't get that, please let me know. But I think what it should have done is sent you an, an invite and then you click on it and then it will send you a login and temporary password. And then you can sign in. Now you click on sign in. Now, um, what you want to do is there's two places to log in. One is here and one is at your organization. Now, your organization may not be set just yet. So what you have to do is enter or click on enter organization and then type in CSU East Bay and it should come up. And then once that has come up, click on that link to log in. Now, I've already logged in a couple of times and S3 sent me this login and my password. So I'm going to just sign in, but you'll have to type in uh, the first time. If you want to stay signed in, obviously just check, check that little box and then click sign in. Okay, as it's loading, it's a little thing. So this is what story maps look like in the beginning. Now you see, I have a couple of testers here that I've been playing around with. Um, you won't have that obviously. What you want to do is go to click on new story. And there's a couple of things that you can do in terms of making your first map. Now, you'll probably want to play around with this before you give me the actual map you're going to work on. So you can certainly do that now. Um, the nice thing about this little drop down box is that as soon as I scroll over it, you get a little description box. So if you want to start from scratch, it's just a blank canvas for a map. Um, if you want to do a sidecar, which is this little button here, that's the sidecar. Um, that type of map, you can certainly do that. And as you can see down at the bottom, um, immersive block of stationary media panel and scrolling narrative panel. Um, guided tour, this is probably the one that I'm guessing most of you will probably use. It will allow you to number something. So if you're doing a walk, um, say of your town, you'll say this is building one and this is building two. Um, or if you're doing a map of movements of people, you'll probably want something like this where you know, they start here and then they go here. And then the third step is they go here. There's also this explore map. Now this is sort of a topological map where it'll give you the map. And then there's points that people don't have to visit in any specific order. They can just pick what they want. Um, I'm going to pick the guided map tour. So I click on that. And now what it's going to do is build the framework for me. Um, now let me just show you what, what shows up here. So um, the very beginning, it says title. Um, I'm just going to just do a, a junk one here. So movement of people. Um, uh, Professor Ivy and I did a book a couple of years ago on some Japanese Americans who were um, forcibly removed from their homes during World War II. And what I think I'll do is just make a little map. Now, it won't be this one, but this is just an example. Um, so that's the title. This is a subtitle. It's got my name. It says it's a draft until I save it. You have a, a plus here, and you can add a whole bunch of stuff all throughout this particular map. So if you want to add text, like an explanation, you can certainly do that. And when you go and add text, there's lots of other things you can do. Um, I'm going to make a few short videos on some of these explanations. Um, for today, or for this week, the first week, I want you to just make a basic map and get your URL to me. And then you can go in and explore this. Um, you can add other maps if you want to, images. There's galleries that you can set up and you can see, you know, they look pretty nice. You could add videos. So if you've got a video um, that's copyright free, you can certainly attach it here. You can add a podcast. Um, you can embed various things. So if you're, um, if you know of like other digital tools you want to add, you can certainly embed them. 
You've got a swipe here, which is nice for a, like a historical map showing what was there, say, in 1900 with what's there now. Um, and then you can add timelines. Now, I haven't played around with this, but it's, uh, I will do that in just a bit. And then you've got some other things here. So anyway, we'll, we'll skip that for right now. Um, but anyway, you can just keep adding stuff. Now, this is the important part. So this is the map area where you're going to create your map tour. Now, you can see here, you can add an image or video, add the title, the description. I always start with add location. So let me add a location. So you've got the whole world that pops up. Um, I am going to um, put my first point on Redwood City. And sorry, my phone is ringing. Actually, it's my iPad in the other room. I can't stop it from here. Um, you can set it to use the map tour in, in terms of the, the zoom level, or you can use the current zoom, meaning when someone clicks over the, the point, it will show up here. So I'm just going to click, uh, I'm just going to use the automatic setting and add location. Now you can see it's numbered my, my spot. Um, and then something like that. You can edit the location and so on. And then up here is where you can add an image or a video. Um, and then all you have to do is click on that. It will ask you to upload or, or get a link. So it's as easy as that. Now that's point one. Let me just add another point. It does the same thing. This is point two, add a video or image, add a location. I am going to, uh, let's see, where is the Hillsdale Mall? You're probably wondering why I'm looking for a Hillsdale Mall or Hillsdale Shopping Center when you're talking about Japanese Americans. But this turns out there used to be a racetrack here and the government in all its wisdom decided to put about 8,000 people in a horse race track to hold them at Tanferan until the internment camps were built. Anyway, so same thing. I'm going to use the automatic. I'm going to add my location. Okay. And again, you can add a picture. And then for my third point, I am going to add a location. This time, I'm going to put a location in Utah, just south of Lake, uh, um, Salt Lake City. There's Delta, there's Abraham. I'm just going to put it here. This is pretty close to where Topaz was. Um, same setting, same thing. So, Topaz. Okay, once you have that set, then you can add more information here. And same text or same buttons that were up above, you can add more about your story and so on. Um, I'm not going to do that here. Okay, so now if you click, let me go to the top, say you just open up the website, you come down, there's number one, talks about Redwood City. Now number two, now you can see one and two are very close to each other. So what I might do later is um, set the, the zoom a little bit differently for these two. But there's one, there's two, and then when you go to three, it's going to take you to Utah. Um, okay, now there's a couple of buttons up here. You can do the design button, which I'll talk about in a different video. You can do the preview button, which shows you what your map will look like. So it's got this nice little scroll. Now one and two, again, are close, so you don't quite see the movement, and then you scroll to three, so you can see how this is a pretty interesting map. And then you can set it to, you know, what it might look like on a phone, small phone, larger phone, a laptop, and so on. Um, to get out of preview, click this button. It'll take you back to uh, where you can work on your map. Now, what you want to do is hit publish here. So I am going to click on everyone public. And you should probably do the same. We can just click it within um, our organization to look at each other, but then we have to log in each time. So right now it's easier just to click on everyone. And I'm going to hit publish story. 
And then what it's going to do is give me the URL. Now this is the URL for my map. So this is what you want to copy and paste and put into the Google Doc in our class. Um, so if you want to go back and hit and edit the story, you can certainly do that. You can embed the story in another website and so on. So anyway, this is um, a pretty basic right now. But what I want you to do this week is to create the, the form of your map, the beginning of your map, and then copy and paste this URL once you hit preview.